Hey yo guys, my name is Wuntby and welcome back to In Sound Mind. Now in the last episode, we found the daughter dolls, some of these dolls. We found a majority of these pills. In fact, I only have two more. And we met the most adorable batch of mannequins. Now, I believe so far that I have to go ahead... Oh, wrong way. Go ahead and find the fuse because obviously the fuse i need that for what was it the freezer that's what i needed it for it was like right there i swear to god yes yeah, see look it was because that's in the way now so have i lost that fuse for good is there a fuse in here maybe oh my god this actually tells me which one there is manager room hallway Staff room, compressor room. Oh my god, you don't hear game volume. Oh my god, that's really awkward. Oh my god, I forgot that would be a side effect of that. There we go. <laughs> that's really awkward. I forgot to change the... I'm not even going to go into details of it. Oh, come on. Wait, what? You can put things... Wait, at some point I've got to do something. I've got to do something to them. Yes, yeah, look. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! Is this group still here? They're not. Oh! Obviously because they're moving around. It's actually that group of mannequins from here that's been moving. Oh! Oh my god, I don't need the fuse box for this. Be cool. It's about you don't be a knob. Wait, what? I've turned it off, no? <gasps> oh, you beaut! Oh, it's locked. Who are you? Who just saved me? I'm going to presume you were probably Samantha. Oh my god, that's really embarrassing. For this whole time I thought I needed a fuse. Where did I even think I needed a fuse for? Why did I think I needed a fuse for that? Bro, right, where's Mother Go? Mother goes. Dinar. It's a small rounded slot. Is that not that? Sleep all day. Oh, by fire. He would sleep by fire. I've got that wrong. Oh, <gasps> what's this? That was the day she pulled the mirror off its, its hinges, putting on her mother's makeup. The taste of blood and lipstick stayed in her mouth until the very end. Oh, it ain't that better, bitch. It's a yellow block with a letter T on it. Oh my god, I can pop balloons. One of them fart. Did I fart? Oh, that teddy bear just lost its head. Block H. <gasps> e. A. Wait, that's blue over there. How oh, hated. I can put something in here. H. No, wrong one. Hey. I'm doing it the wrong... No, wait, that's the way that it's in the mirror. But is it backwards in the mirror? So then it would be... Oh, not working. Yay. What do you mean? Ha! Huh. There you are. And then bam! Did you see me for 0.5 milliseconds? My mask! My mask! What? 
Hey, wait, they had they had faces on them. I put faces on them. They didn't take their faces off, did they? She wanted to die. Only someone as selfish as you would try and take that away from her. I'm glad to see you failed. Where is she? Why are you crying? Why are you crying for? Why are you it's crying? Okay. I see you. You can rest now. Thank you. Nah, that is weird. Where's this last pill? I don't think Virginia would be capable of doing something like this without some sort of outside influence. I promise you, Miss Rule. I'll get to the bottom of this. Oh wait, there's a door here. I presume I can probably come back at any point. I know a lot of what I'm doing now as well. Am I just going straight back or is this different? No, it's I different. Think I'm ready now. We can talk about the scars. My face. If you'd like, yes. I appreciate you not asking me about them. I mean, I do see you looking at them. Everyone does all the time anyway. Oh! I can't believe I missed that jump. That's kind of embarrassing. Really? No, I did that. That was not in the water. I down there. Nah, you're lying to me. Wait. See, look, even thought I made it. Fuck you. When I was a kid, my mom, she used to sign me up for like Little Miss whatever the hell, you know, like these beauty pageants. For That's embarrassing. One, I was practicing at home. And I was in the bathroom just playing with, like, some of my mom's makeup, and, and then I... Uh, sorry. Take your time. Now this one? I just slipped. I don't know. I lost my balance, and I grabbed the mirror cabinet, and the whole thing just fell apart. I hate her. My mother. She made me go anyway. Made you go where? Out. To the pageant, to school, everywhere, with a busted up face and stitches. She's a monster and a liar. She told me I was still pretty. She said people wouldn't judge me. Guess what? They did. Of course it is a beauty pageant. They look at me with pity. I look back at them with hatred. I hate her. I hate everyone. I understand. Stop looking at me. Is this this one that I just played? Oh no. And a liar. Ah, uh, no, 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 I already pressed that one, didn't I? And bam. We have so much that we can do now, though. Just with the fact that we have the glass. Because there's like a hundred different places to cut things. Plus, we, like, this game's decently long. If we're going off the fact that there's one here, one here, one. And so basically we could have three more tapes and then one here as well. Oh, this is Virginia's case notes, right? Patient name, Virginia Rule. 25, personality disorder, NOS, trauma from past injury. Patient began treatment as a mandated disciplinary measure in college. Roommates expressed concern, possible suicidal... I... Iditation? I don't know. Patient would hide in her room for fear of judgment over her personal appearance. As a child, patient was entered into pageants by her mother during this, which time she suffered verbal abuse relating to her appearance and performance. The accident took place in which a, a bathroom mirror had collapsed on the six-year-old Virginia, leaving her scarred, ending pageant participation. Patient suffers from the constant notation of judgment from others stemming from pageant participation compared with an accident which resulted in facial disfiguration and an unsupported home environment. Patient is internalized this to an extreme degree, retaining a strong adver adver aversion to public spaces for fear of 
being judged. Wei Shimo looked in mirrors, often lashing out in anger at those who she perceived as judging her. Patient was encouraged to establish routine errands that would put her outside. When her local grocery grocery store closed down thanks to retail competition from the Homer Market Superstore, Patient had to alter her routine by picking up food in a much more crowded space. Heightened sense of anxiety as of late, increased sense of, of an unknown dread and fear. Uh, and we kept that picture. How lovely. I'm sure that won't come back to haunt me. Now can I leave? No. Desmond? Darling? What? what? Who said that? Why, I did, of course. How? You can talk now? Yeah, why, why is the cat talking? I mean, you could argue that I always could, and you just didn't care to listen. Look, let's not waste any more time on how unbelievable this all may be and tackle the situation at hand. You are going to die, Desmond, if you do not get to the bottom of all this madness. I mean, clearly. Simply, you must keep a level head and find a way through this. I will help you, as best as I possibly can. Now, concentrate. Who might have some answers? Me. I, I, I don't know. This is weird. Oh, Tonya, that's what your name is. Patience, Desmond. I don't think we have patience. Patience takes patience times and we don't have time. Patience. Uh, my patience. Don't you find it curious? You can enter Virginia's apartment and she doesn't even live here. Something strange is happening. You would benefit from knowing what that is. It sounds like a plan. You are adorable. Can I pet you? I can pet you again. Don't you have better things to do? No. Alright, let's keep it moving. Let's not. Why do you have alternate dialogue? Right there, behind the ears. Oh, good. This is adorable. I get it. You like me. You can stop now. Okay, that's enough of that. And what happens if I don't stop? Okay, I can't do it anymore. Can I go? I can go. I have a tape still. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of Hallmark cat food. Oh, well, you could have told me that earlier. They deserved it. Into the void. Wait, can I look out here for the mirror? In the basement, there was a vent that we could break into. And then second of all, there's also that area which we can cut the tape into. The tape, I know, leads into the ventilation system which allows us to go into the boiler here and get that gas mask. So obviously we can grab whatever this is. It's a pill. So in here, we can go through here now. Which should lead us to... Oh. That looks as if it's not... Possibly something I can go through. I don't want to step any closer. Okay, I cannot go through that. Oh, but I can go through there. Wait, is there not? Oh, there was two doors. Oh, wait, there's this here. Oh, that leads us into the boiler room. I have to do parkour because I think it's this way, right? Yes. Traps are broken, I'll have to hold it. Is that this gas? Or the black gas that was on the floor there? <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, that hurts quite a bit, actually. I didn't think it was going to hurt that bad. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! It is this gas, but we can only keep it on for a certain amount of time. It's not this gas, is it? No. So we need some sort of brighter flashlight, maybe? So far we've learned that change is inevitable. You either go with it with the times, or the world changes with it. Wait, wait a minute, hello, that's a wall. Oh, ah, 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 what the fu- what, what the fu- <laughs> 
Okay, so we can go this way. Wait, this was blocked off before, no? We can go this way. This way had nothing in it. This. We can break open this. And we can open this. But that's got the darkness in it, so we can't go through there. Now we can go into here, which is Virginia's apartment, I believe. Which in Virginia's apartment, we had this. Lock, lock. Why is there a mirror here? Why do you think? Oh, it's not working. Odd place for a mirror. There we go. This movie we spoke about a rock a rot shot test. Have you done one before? No, but I've seen it in movies. You should you show me a picture and I say what it makes me feel. I show you an ink blot and you tell me what it might look What well, I show you an ink blot and you tell me what it might look like. Shall we do it for you? Sure. A flower, but it's broken. Second image. A created auditorium. Third image, two people fighting. Fourth image. What might this be? A monster with six arms. Like snakes. I'm sorry, I just sound incredibly stupid. That's all. There are no wrong answers here, Virginia. How does ink block make you feel? Powerful. And there's a vinyl in here. So we have a vinyl for her now. I have a feeling that that's not really important to the story whatsoever, but also nice to have. Oh, that's that. Okay, cool. Let me got this again. If I'm aware of the lights flickering in this section of the floor, it will be fixed when I can get a hold of our electrician, Gary. Until then, please don't try and light the hallway yourself. No candles, no fires, and no flare guns. Be patient. Oh, okay. So I shouldn't use my light here. It has a small coin slot. Oh, fuck off with the coins. And you fuck off with calling me. What do you want? Okay, well, don't waste my time then. Oh, we can go in here. There's obviously that. This is still locked. Oh, leave it out, fam. I'm a Mark Coin. Where's this phone? What do you want? Oh, fuck off. Uh, this one, maybe. Ooh. Is this... what's down here? Mate! These sort of look like things you'd see indoors, no? <laughs> Is that just me that thinks that? What's this? Another home mark queen. Oh, so this is how we can get, like, pills in here, is by finding those. Last night, Milton Hay... Haven has welcomed the new year and style with a rectious party in town square that included fireworks, line dancing, and a musical performance by the town choir. At the top of the evening, Mayor Barry Wagner gave his annual address. Thank you to big players like Mayor Pharmaceuticals and Homer Mark, reinvigorating our local market. 1997 is going to be our best year yet, he declared to a cheering crowd of hopeful town folks. Yeah, I didn't go to plan, did it, fella? Not at all. Whose door this is, I don't know, but it's a door. Therefore, I shall enter it. Oh, this guy's a fuck. Alan? Alan's a cultist. Doc Wales told me to write, so I'm writing. Even though I don't want to write, that what I, what I want to do is scream at people. A woman by, by the lighthouse, as I told a meathead boyfriend, I was looking at her funny, and he punched me in the gut. Which I could bury both of them in the grain. I'm so mad I'm seeing red. So this guy has anger issues, right? I presume that's what this is going to be about. So that's darkness is to do with this one. You're gonna call me? No, you're actually not gonna call me for once. No? Oh, fuck off. What do you want? Ah, Alan Shore, the one man freak show. Oh, I didn't think. I I think you just. I, I thought you'd. Well, there's this room here. Oh, we can go to the roof. Oh, mate. 
Some sort of an electrical gizmo. If I just... No? I can't really do anything about that. There's another electrical it's gizmo. A faint hum. Yep, I don't know what you expect me to do about that faint hum. Hi again. Is there a link between Virginia and Alan? I wouldn't rule it out. Well, yeah, they both had I issues. Guess I'm about to find out. Be careful, Desmond. No, you. Can I pet you again? No. Once more onto the breach. Oh right, I want to play this Time for some music. vinyl. Does this do anything? Someone's definitely made a nightcore version of this. No, why? Why what? What do, what's, what's your issue? I can't sit here and listen to music all day. I've got videos to make. Here we go. What's this? Oh, uh, right. Okay, Mr. Shore. Tape's running. Thank you for agreeing to be recorded. Oh, um, should I just start talking? What do you want to know? Uh, what made you decide to seek counseling? Ah, oh, man, Doc, it's, it's just weird. As in, I feel weird. Like, I, like I'm weird all the time, you know? No, I'm saying this. no, I don't. People think I'm weird, and it's cool I am, but I, I shouldn't feel weird, right? You may, you you said a lot, but said nothing at all. How exactly do you feel weird? Off, odd, slightly tilted. I'm sure you're nightmares. standing up straight. Ever since I can remember, I've always had these horrific dreams I can't explain. And they recur. Man, like there are themes in them that keep coming back. And honestly, Doc, it's been such a constant that I shape my life around them, you know? You shape your life around your nightmares. That's a bit... That's a bit backwards. I think you'd shape them around your dreams. Have you ever seen anyone about these recurring nightmares? Like a shriek? Like you? No. Honestly, for the longest time, I thought it was normal life to wake up sweating, to see things in the dark. I mean, I, I wake up sweaty. Things. That's because I'm fat. What is it that frightens you, Alan? Me. I'm See, scary motherfucker. My, my whole life I could feel the presence of shadows. I could hear sorrow in the dark. It, it's poetic, man. I know. I, I got so used to being paralyzed by dread that I, I began to like it. Oh, does he have if night notice, terrors? You know, Wait. I, I say weird stuff sometimes, I guess. At some point, I just decided to live comfortably in this reality. Maintaining a beacon of light over a sea of darkness. Alone and afraid, but I'd be lying if I didn't admit that it being swallowed by darkness or, or sinking in the depths. It makes me feel alive, man. It's electric. Wait, I thought this would be anger issues. Is this maybe like sleep paralysis instead? Explore the area. What's this? Look at you, Mr. Private Detective. What? What do you think is behind all of this? Bigfoot? Aliens? Big bad government officials? Shed some light on the situations, why don't you? Okay, you dick. Fucking... How's about you move on and enjoy your life then? The fucking idling, ogling me all the time. Am I supposed to have a clue where... I hope I ain't gotta, like, explore all these areas. Else this is gonna be really annoying. Cause this is really... Whoa! And then we can go up there as well. What's this? Whatever it. Oh my god! The light, I have to restore it. What the fuck? Oh, I've got to go to the lighthouse and restore the light in the lighthouse. That's what that means. Okay, okay, okay. This is big and red. What do you want? In Greek mythology, Icarus flies too close to the sun and it kills him. I'll spare you the analogy. In our story, you're going to bring the sun to Alan, and the both of you will burn. Oh, you're just such a dickhead, if I'm honest. Like, I've never met someone who can be consistently a fucking asshole and a fucking asshole. But you do both. It's actually kind of a skill how much of a dickhead you are. 
What's this? Max Nygaard. Hmm. Emergency contact Alice. On the road next to the Icarus Lighthouse. I thought it was a to blow it at first, but the asphalt in the road is melting or something. Trucks stopped short of a few hundred feet. And then he was killed. So it seems. Ow! I'm gonna die to this. I'm just gonna hide here for a little bit, if I'm honest. Wait, what is that about? Oh, I got quite lucky there. What do you want, bro? As he climbed higher and higher in the sky, do you think Icarus contemplated how weird a person he was? Why can't he just be normal? And why can you, you not just be a normal be a person, not an asshole? Like your parents did. What? You insulting me once again, bruv. Oh, how? Oh. How do I do this? Look, that's blocked from the other side. How do you get in there? There's like nothing... There's a hole in the roof. I can get up there, I can get inside. Oh yeah, it's up here. This is officially it, right? Yeah. Um. Thank God! Information center. Mysterious deepens in lighthouse fire. A oh, mystery deepens. On Monday last week, we at Vigil County Gazette found out that an anonymous call had been made to the local police. The caller on the other side of the line did not identify himself, but after investigating, we believe it might have been. Milton Allen's Allen Milton Haven's Allen Shaw Lighthouse operator at the beloved Patmos Bay. Ask any county local and that is where that ends. Oh, what do you want? Stop waiting for the bus and fuck off. Special sightings befell for the old Milton residents. What or who's to blame for last month's sightings? This is from the and the Galaxy Top Secret Missile Experiments. I sent, I set out to in interview some of the Mil of Milton's own in order to find out. Elnor Klo, 38, a receptionist at the Pandora Hotel, recalls a loud swooshing sound that passed right over her head, a flash of light. As if someone took a picture of me, then it disappeared. I then decided to interview Milton Haven, the sheriff, and marmalade aficionado. Thomas Kahn to learn how Milton police are handling the situation. When asked about the sightings, he replied, I'm sh I sure don't know anything about aliens or supernatural beings, but I'll tell you, if they don't, if they want to come and harass the people in my town, they're going to have to go from me. Well, it's good to know the sheriff's got our backs. This is, this, this is far from the first sighting around Milton Haven and the surrounding Vir Virgil County. Who are they? What do they want? These and other questions on the next edition of Milton's Mysteries. I bet you keep them a mystery, because that shit was boring, bro. What's this? Icarus Lighthouse. So this is just a thing on the lighthouse. Look, i got to get going, fellas. So I want to get this light restored before I end this episode. Bam. Can I push this out the way? Whoa! Use the lights to combat the shade. The door leading to nothing. And it probably melted the keys to all the doors along with his damned house. The measurement here is about it, it's gonna be your ass. Get someone to go in there and fish them out if they still exist. I'm not setting a foot in there. The whole thing seems unstable and smells of burnt human flesh. What? What's this? 
Whoop! It's a fuse box. No, 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 no. Yeah, I can feel you being a dick. You can't get me here, can you? You can! You bitch! You can't get me here, can you? No. Ow! My asshole! Ow! Stop it! Little fucker. I'll come back for this if I need it. Is this my next fuse? Yes, it is. Ain't nobody you're in this wall. I wish I couldn't see you. Am I in the light? I'm still in the light, okay. There's only so much I can carry. What do you mean there's only so much you can carry? Take a look at yourself through the looking glass and see how shredded in darkness her mind like Alan's could be. Wait, what? Make it bright, illuminated. Oh! <gasps> wait, what? There's darkness in the way. It's out of fuel. Oh wait. Oh. Of all the nightmares I'd had, had to date, this must be the worst. My light went out, and there was an accident. Oh god, it's all my fault. It's an old oil lantern. I was in the tail when it happened. It took the rope down, the cliffs, and to the boathouse, falling as I fumbled around, unable to see. The lantern had no dice. I need more oil. Ah, there is more oil. That was not there. That 100% was not there. It's an old oil lantern. So if I go this way, I can get the oil here. It isn't there. It is there, but it's invisible, unless I can see it. The monsters I was told that I was making up have now stepped forth out of the shadows. It's out of fuel. That ship is deaf. It bears death's name. I managed to find out one of those flare guns from inside the belly of the beast. I'm not afraid to use it. I mean, someone who says they're not afraid to use something tends to be afraid to use that one thing. I need to clear the darkness around it first. Bam, baby. Oh, I need to go up there. The lantern is off. There's unnatural darkness here. Everything's unnatural here. Oh. I didn't see that. Oh. Okay then. Light house port key courtyard key. Courtyard key? Is that that one? Is that that one? That's that one there. Ow! Bro! Oh yeah, it literally says courtyard on it. Into the courtyard is locked. Yeah, bye bitch. Agent, instructions are to take all flammable containers of mm, from the bay where the mm, and move them outdoor, indoors. No smoking, flare guns or explosives near this crap. Keep an eye on that driver smoking around transport. If he gives you mm, about it, arrest him. I love this stuff. Never mind. What do you want?
Oh, did, I didn't kill himself. Oh wait, I didn't actually think he killed himself, didn't he? That's what this is getting at, isn't it? Oh, he's just going to tell me how to get these things done. Oh, it is. You know what, though? Because this is literally over an hour now, I am going to end this here. Because I need to edit this at some point, and editing down an hour of footage ain't my strong point. So, with that being said, Alan's got one hell of a story behind him, and I don't even know what his issue is. I can't tell if it's anger issues, or like, it's night terrors, or like, sleep paralysis. It could be either three, or it could be all three, for all I know. But, with that all being said, this is where I'm going to end this episode. If you enjoyed, go down below, hit that subscribe button, and the bell to be notified when I post. If you enjoyed it that much, go down and drop a like on it, it all helps out. And any games you'd like to see me play in the future, drop those down in the comments. I shall see yous in the next episode. See ya.